Was there any specific reason you guys moved to this area? Um, at the time, 17 years ago, we moved here for the schools and the location and the access to um, all of the highways so that we could get to work every day. Um, and we purchased a house on a cul-de-sac that we knew could, could be a great home for our family. Okay, so the school was probably one of the biggest priorities So Absolutely. Okay. Well, I've been going to most of the board meetings for the last couple of years just to hear the conversation and just trying to inform myself about all of the details, although it's very complicated and uh, passionate on a lot of sides, so yeah. it's actually hard to get all the facts straight. Proximity line targeting one meter of a zone is not fair. In reality, proximity should be based on many factors. The time it takes to get to school, distance, and stored up safety in walking or biking or driving to school. Consider the impact of to our school district racial segregation. I calculate based on the data from all the three schools and the current high school enrollment, all the six maps will more or less increase the Y student ratio in Union Central by somewhere from 0.7% to 1.5%, depending on which map you use. So I highly recommend you look at how many students, how many minority students, how many Y students when you try to solve this problem issue. Taking proximity as the primary criteria for determining uh, school zone or school attendance isn't necessarily the best way to go about it. Because when you consider proximity, well, all the power buffer zone and the marker buffer zone kids should go to, to Central or to South, wherever they're the closest to. But for example, how is their um, proximity less important than, say, Oak Brooks, or more important? Oak Brooks is far away from all those. My name is Bilal Yusuf and I live in Oakbrook. How do you feel about Oakbrook residents being permitted to attend Hinsdale Central? Um, being someone who lives in Oakbrook, I think it's definitely a positive thing for me and my family, you know, my younger siblings who will go to Central in the future. Um, and I think that especially for, you know, the large, not large, but the portion of people who have moved to Oakbrook for the reason of going to Central, it makes sense that they should be allowed to go to the school they desire. People in the buffer zone feel violated. We will never feel the same. This is going to really change our community. It's already created divisiveness. And now, um, I think it further divides our community, which was already a little divided based on where everyone goes to school. One thing that I was somewhat disappointed with when you posted the information online uh, is you, again, just posted pictures didn't have any hard facts of any kind. Uh, you have a smart engineering firm that we pay from our taxpayer dollars to do this type of research. Most of the information I've gotten about why has come from other bits and pieces of you know people who know board members personally and have had conversations with them. So I think it's been very hard to sort out exactly why. I mean there were uh, I think what they ultimately said was we just needed to settle this so we could move on with other things, but I, I think everyone's left wondering how this helps anyone move on.
I think that the school was faced with a tough choice and there's some ambiguity between what right or wrong means in the situation, but they made the decision that they thought would help them the most. I don't think that this is going to help get the referendum passed in the fall either because now I think there are even more people who are um, upset with the school district.